What's up guys, it's Nokel here coming at you with a review of the Mobula 6 HD0 edition. So this was provided to me by the HD0 store to make a review of, so keep that in mind. But I'm going to be unboxing this and telling you my thoughts on it. Uh, I have some flying footage to show you and we'll get into that soon, but first let's get the box open. So here we can see opening it up that we have an adjustable spare camera mount and that is also the canopy that will protect the beautiful HD0 A05 that powers this whole setup. So here we can see that up close and then taking a look at the whoop itself it has the eco edition camera which is an analog hybrid and just to show you what that looks like I'm going to put up some footage right now I brought it to a local car meet and flew it around so before we get into the rest of the review let's just check that out I woke up in the morning to crack myself a beer then went down to the kitchen to grab myself a beer Made myself some breakfast, another beer, of course. That's when my baby said to me, I want to get a divorce. So well, now I definitely need to go grab another beer or two or three so I can start thinking clear. Oh, it's a perfect day for beer. Yeah, that's just what I need. Just one or two or three. So getting back to the video now, we can see that the quality of the low light performance on the HD0 Eco camera is pretty good. I think it's good enough for whoop racing for sure, um, and as a lightweight camera, it outperforms any analog system you could get. The DVR doesn't really represent well exactly how good the quality is, but in goggles you can tell the, the level of experience is much different. Now in terms of specs for this whoop, it has a 5 amp maximum for each channel, which is pretty good for a whoop I would say. Uh, it runs Express LRS V3, has a built-in receiver, built-in video transmitter, and the FC and the ESC are an all-in-one. The camera has a 1 3rd inch sensor and it runs 720p at 60fps, and it has a 150 degree field of view. The F4 on this flight controller is a crazy BF4, so that's what you'll flash when you're in the beta flight configurator. Uh, the motors on this are 28,000 kV with a stator diameter of 7 millimeters and a stator length of 2 millimeters and the overall weight of this build is 19 grams not including the battery so here I'm going to show you the AIO5 itself I had a spare here it is so you can see the RX antenna is soldered on before you get it and here we have the battery connector which is BT 2.0 and some spare parts like connectors and a video transmitter antenna which is ultra lightweight so for all you weight weenies out there, I'm going to throw it on the scale, and you can see the actual measured weight is 19.3 grams. It's a little bit more than you would get on an average competition whoop, but I think it's good enough for a beginner. And I also want to give a big shout out to Quad Gas from Wrecked for sponsoring me and supporting me with these batteries. These batteries performed great throughout all my testing. I think they're perfect for anybody from a beginner to an advanced pilot, and especially somebody who's just looking for a good quality and budget-friendly battery for their whoops. This is not going to break the bank, and it's going to do exactly what you need every single time. So big thank you to Rekt and Quad Gas. So final thoughts on this whoop package. I do like it. Um, I'm not really the biggest whoop pilot, so I don't have much experience yet, but I think this whoop really gives me a lot of room to grow, and I think you could take this to a competition and do pretty well as long as you're not fighting for those last few tenths of a second.